We all live our day-to-day -day lives on ground level. From the people we talk to every day to the places that we walk to for work or leisure. There isn't much mystery left to our daily surroundings. However, what's underground is a completely different story. It's known that the Earth is over 4.5 billion years old. Ever since the beginning of evolution, the planet has built layers upon layers, covering up ancient history that has long since been forgotten. No one knew dinosaurs ever existed until the first fossils were uncovered. The Titanic would never have been found again if explorers did not descend more than 12,600 feet under the surface. Although society has uncovered a lot of lost history, there is still much that we have not explored. For instance, the Mariana Trench remains the deepest point in the ocean, extending over 1,500 miles long into the belly of the Earth. There's much that human capability has not reached yet for us to discover such unknown places. However, scientists and archaeologists are uncovering new artifacts every day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three remarkable discoveries. Claw Artifacts and the Moshe Civilization Down south in Peru near Trujillo, archaeologists were digging and came across an unknown tomb. From the looks of it, they quickly discovered that it was the tomb of a nobleman from the pre-Inca civilization known as the Moshe. The Moshe people were from a civilization that was said to have emerged from the time of the birth of Christ and long reigned for 800 years in Peru. Even though they came before our modern society, they were incredibly advanced for the era. They excelled in areas such as agriculture and especially in art, having created many intricate pottery, jewellery, weapons and armour. However, despite their technological advancements, they did not keep many written records. As a result, many details of their culture, such as certain dates, are difficult to make out. Despite the lack of records, the Moshe people had a polytheistic religion which encompassed regular blood sacrifices to guarantee good weather. Sometimes that even involved drinking the blood of victims. Still, the Moshe people are most well known for their hawakas, or the types of pyramids that they built. There are two tall constructions known as the Hawaka de la Luna and the Hawaka del Sol, which represent the moon and sun respectively. They both have colourful murals painted on their surface and are the sites where many artefacts are stored. In the tomb of the nobleman, many artefacts were discovered, which indicated his elite and rich status. Among the collection, one of the most interesting artefacts were ornamental metal pieces that were made to look like feline paws with sharp claws. Perhaps the paws could have been used as part of a ritual costume for ceremonial combat. In these matches, the loser would routinely be sacrificed to the gods. The winner would have been able to keep the costume, metal feline paws included. There were other objects found, including a scepter, a pair of earrings, and a ceramic piece. An archaeologist stated, The scepter signifies power. The earrings, status, and the ceramic piece is typical of an elite personage. Therefore, these artifacts carried a great deal of symbolization. The nobleman's bones were also taken for later research. It's believed that the artifacts are at least 1,500 years old. As for the Moshe people, it has been speculated that their civilization collapsed at around 800 AD for mysteriously unknown reasons. All these artifacts and pyramids left behind are the only indication that the Moshe people existed. Perhaps the answer for their ways of life and demise lay within them, waiting to be revealed. Young Female Hunter Uncovered Our next mysterious find lays within the lands of Peru as well. Archaeologists yet again uncovered a skeleton. This time, they realized they had found the bones of a 9,000-year-old young woman who looked like a big-game hunter. Perhaps this meant that hunter-gatherer women were more common than previously thought and could bring down even larger animals, like visuna and deer. However, at first, Researchers thought that they had unearthed a man. The skeleton was surrounded with projectile points and stone tools, yet once they did more research, they realized that the bones were lighter than a typical man 
and that the proteins in the skeleton's dental enamel confirmed that the bones were of a woman, aged between 17 and 19 years old. This was yet another confirmation that proved that female participation in big game hunting was more normal than first thought. After looking at the records of about 429 burials across the Americas around the late Pleistocene and early Holocene epochs, the team identified 27 people buried with such big game hunting tools. So where did the concept of man the hunter come from? Perhaps it first came from the studies of a few hunter-gatherer societies where the men usually hunted big animals while the women gathered more fruits and plant foods. As a result, many scholars thought that this division between hunters and gatherers according to gender was universal. However, this uncovered female skeleton alone is changing the tide and challenging our most ingrained gender norms 9,000 years later. dinosaur fossil of a titanosaur may belong to the largest land animal ever. When you think of a large dinosaur, you might immediately think of the Tyrannosaurus rex, with its large body and sharp teeth, perfect for being at the very top of the food chain. However, there might be an even larger land animal. In the region of Patagonia in Argentina, rich with awe-inspiring vistas and fossils, there are many deposits of bones that have been unearthed to reveal the existence of huge dinosaurs that once lumbered around the river deltas. Among smaller findings, paleontologists spent years since 2015 carefully excavating what they believe to be the vertebrae and pelvic bones of a mysterious giant sauropod. Sauropods are dinosaurs that characteristically have long necks and long tails that walk on all fours and eat plants. Even though researchers have not unearthed the entire skeleton, they already have reason to believe that this might be the largest animal to ever set foot on Earth. These fossils were first found in a rock formation called the Candeleros Formation. It came to be when sediment settled in the area from a river floodplain during the Upper Cretaceous period from over 98 million years ago. With rock that old, careful excavation becomes difficult. Because paleontologists do not want to risk breaking the bones in any way, they painstakingly brush away at the rock. Even though most of it still has not been excavated, the team already has uncovered 27 vertebrae from the sauropod's tail along with pelvic and pectoral girdle parts. However, it is already visually apparent that the dinosaur is no ordinary fossil. According to Dr. Alejandro Otero, the bones are between 10 and 20% bigger than the fossils of many previous large dinosaurs found. Now, they know it's a titanosaur, which is a type of sauropod. A titanosaur is a sauropod that has been found in fossil beds all over the world, but none as large have been found as in Patagonia. For instance, the Argentinosaurus reached a staggering weight of more than 110 tons, with a height of 20 meters and was 40 meters in length. The newly discovered fossil seems to tower above them all. It's also suggested to be more than 120 feet long. However, researchers can't be sure of the weight until the load-bearing bones, such as the femur and the humerus, are unearthed. Yet, for as big as this sauropod could possibly be, it still fails to stand up to the largest animal in our planet that still exists with us today. Except, it's not on land. It's the blue whale that reigns supreme reaching lengths as long as 30 meters and weighing upwards of 200 tons. It seems that only time will tell as paleontologists continue to work on unearthing this giant, once-walking mystery to understand the greatness of this animal. But what do you make of these fascinating discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.